Quincy, the interview went great. Uh, look, I'll meet you in the city room with the tape, and uh, you better have somebody there from legal to go over it. We don't want a libel suit. Why, Clint, when did you ever worry about a libel suit? I thought the banner policy was print it and let the truth be damned. No, 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 no. That was your style when you ran the intruder. At the banner, we tell the truth. How noble. Well, I don't know about noble, but it, it is necessary. Like it was necessary for me to tell Joey the truth about the woman who kicked him in the teeth. Despite what you may think, I really did try to explain to you. I'm not interested in hearing you try to explain to me how you tried to justify yourself to, to Joey or anybody else. What you and David did or tried to do was low enough. I mean, faking evidence, helping helping David worm his way into Vicky's family. The evidence make was Making Joey, making Joey your fall guy, using him to cover what you and your new husband were were up to. I can't even think of a word that would describe just how low that was. I'm Dorian. sure that you'll come up with something. You know, Dorian, you really ought to be back in prison. And if there is any justice at all... You want to talk world. about justice? Then let's talk about innocent until proven guilty. There is no evidence against me, Clint. So what are you going to do about that? Is Hank Gannon there? Bo Buchanan? Can you get him a message in the courtroom? All right, this is important. You tell him that I think we can nail Dorian Lord, but it's going to cost us David Vickers. Thank you. Well? Well, what? I assume you were talking to the DA. What did he have to say? About what? The hypothetical situation we were discussing. How someone who had vital information that could incriminate someone like Dorian Lord would only consider revealing it if he was guaranteed complete immunity from all charges against him. But, you know, if you and Hank Gannon can't live with that, I completely understand. David, the DA and I are considering a reduced sentence, which is more than you really deserve. Now, in exchange for that, you tell us everything you know about the evidence that overturned Dorian's conviction, beginning with Irene Clayton's diary. You know, it, it, it must be the acoustics in here. I've already told you everything that I know. But if someone did know something new about the diary, oh, I don't know, something that might shed light on the truth about Victor Lord's death, then a reduced sentence, that just ain't gonna cut it. You think you're really cute, don't you? Yeah, I do, and I'm bored. So why don't you and Hank talk? When you have something to say, then we'll talk. Until then, why don't you let me go home? I thought I told you. When the police ask questions... I want to talk to a lawyer. No, I want to see a judge, and I want to make know, a phone must call. Must be those acoustics in here again. David, Manny, be sure and keep our uh, guest here entertained, all right? And if he tries to get up again, you just restrain him. You know what I mean? All right? Of course. Yeah. Yeah, fine. So let's... Where's the evidence? Evidence? Yes. You were going to go check on your wife, then you were going to go down to the archives, bring up that evidence box from the Victor Lord murder case. Right. Sorry, Commissioner, but as soon as I got back here, there was an emergency call from home, and I figured it was my wife's flu. So it turns out that my cat, Ambrose, swallowed this... Lewis, you get down to the archives and bring up that diary now! Yes, sir. Right away, sir.
and it's me. Don't yell. I don't have the strength to fight with you again. And besides, I... Ben? Resolved. Our last fight was our last fight. I love you, Rachel Gannon, and I believe in you. Hey, lady lawyer, can you find it in your heart to pardon a dumb doctor? All my love, Ben. Hello, Rachel. Can I come in? I really ought to thank you. Joey's never been better off, you know why? Because he finally saw for himself what you really are. A self-serving, manipulative witch. I tried to tell him that he wouldn't listen. So, I'm a bright light in your otherwise bleak existence. Thank you, Clint. Really, I'm glad you're happy. You're damn right I'm happy. I'm happy that he's free of you. But I don't take any pleasure in his pain, Dorian. How you could swear up, down, and over that you cared about him, that you loved him, and then just... All right, fine. So now you can say, I told you so, until doomsday. But what happened between me and Joe is something that you will never understand. Well, I'll tell you what I do understand. I understand that you used him, and then you threw him away like a dirty shirt. Now, I got a little prediction for you. I'm not interested. I, I predict that David Vickers is going to hurt you every bit as much as you hurt Joey. I presume you're finished. No, I'm not. Let, let go of my hand. Uh -uh. I said let go of my hand. If you don't, so help me, I will call the manager of the country club. Be my guest. While you're at it, call the police. Maybe they can explain to me why you're not in jail. <laughs> What do you mean Hank's unavailable? He's got to get back here, Sandy. I can't keep David Vickers on ice forever. I tried my best to deliver your message, Commissioner, but I couldn't get... Just keep... Tell me, what did Hank say exactly? That's just it. I never got the chance. He was in court, but now he's in chambers with Judge Cologne. I'm sorry, I just can't disturb it's okay. him. It's okay, Sandy. It's okay. Okay. <clears throat> Problem, Commissioner? Nothing I can't handle, David. Nanny, if Mr. Vickers asks for another drink of water, shoot him. <laughs> what are you grinning for? We live in hope, officer. We live in hope. Hey, yeah. Uh, where'd you go? Oh, there was a noise down the hall. Huh? There was nothing, though. I had to go investigate it. A bottle fell out the windowsill. Oh. You got hold of your wife? Oh, yeah. She's had the flu, you know, so I was worried. But she's okay. It turns out it was our cat, Ambrose. He's had a terrible time lately. Yeah, but she's much better now. I guess it's time for me to go find the Commonwealth versus Dorian Lord. I'll see you later. I told you before, I don't want you stopping by whenever you feel like it. I understand your feelings, Rachel. You just don't care. Of course I care. You're my family. I respect your wishes. Okay, let's be honest for a minute. If I had called first, would you have invited me to stop by? I don't think so. It would have been my choice, RJ. My choice, not yours. If you can't respect that... All I wanted to do was give you something. I don't want any presents. It's not a present. It's something personal. Something you deserve a lot more than I do. Look... I don't, it's not a good time. I've been up all morning and I've got a ton of studying to get through. Say no more. The last thing I want to do is complicate your life and add to the pressure. Who says I'm under pressure? It's just classwork. 
Right. Well, I know how much that means to you, so I'll just be on my way. Thank you. But I can't walk out without leaving this with you first. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just set it down here beside the door, and once I'm gone and you feel safe again, you can come out and get it. Uh, who says I don't feel safe? Well, whatever. It's just... Look, it's an old photograph. I showed it to you once, and, well, you really liked it. So, let's call it a token of affection. Well, don't worry, it's not ticking. So long, Rachel. Cannon Gannon. RJ, I know it takes the elevator a month to get here. You want me to use the stairs? No. I just want to say I'm sorry. You're right. I love this picture of my dad. He looks so... Powerful. <laughs> adorable. If you say so. I'm glad you like it. RJ, I... Uh, I could use a little study break before I hit the books. Want some coffee? Sounds great. But only for a few minutes, remember. You know, it's bad enough hearing that tone of voice from your ex-wife. But coming from you, how dare anybody in the Buchanan family sit in judgment? Do you want to compare dirty linen? I never said I was spotless. <sighs> Same thing goes for the rest of my family. But we never murdered anybody, Doria. Then we're even because I never murdered anybody either. Well, except for your late husband, Victor Lord. Hey, why stop at playing judge and jury? Why don't you take a rope and string me up from the chandelier, Texas style? <laughs> well, after all your years of ruthless social climbing, at least you'd finally be above everyone else at the country club. Hey, that's clever. <laughs> Divorce has been very good for you. It'll happen, Dorian. If not now, one day. Maybe when you least expect it. <laughs> okay, what are you talking about? The law of averages. I mean, sooner or later it'll catch up with you. You can only hurt so many people for so long. Now, I thought that Vicky was going to put you back where you belong, but somehow you got lucky. Oh, luck had nothing to do with it. She decided to stop lying. No. You mean that she was still using her usual integrity? <gasps> oh, yes. Yeah. Even after all the times you hurt her, mm -hmm. and after what you did to, to Joey, she still couldn't bring herself to swear that you had confessed to murdering Victor. Because I hadn't. No. Because she wasn't sure if it was her feelings or your actual words that she remembered from that night. But you are sure. You weren't even there. And you're sure about what was said and not said. Well, you're right, Dorian. I wasn't there. But I know this. I know that when Vicky told me that you confessed to murder, that wasn't confusion talking. That was the truth. Now, I don't know how you, how you did it, how you got her to change your mind, but you can take this to the bank. I'm going to find out. Take your best shot. You don't scare me. Don't I? I think I do. versus Dorian Lord. It must be on the other side. Sleep quietly, Victoria. The dirty little 
secret is safe now. I hate to disappoint our district attorney, but it is for a higher good. Who's there? Don't be upset with your secretary, Hank. It was my call. Then you'll be the one to tell Judge Cullen why I had to walk out of his chambers with a case pending. I'd be happy to if you just hold your voice down a few decibels. You're kidding me. Dorian's boy toy wants to talk. What'd you do? Break out the old rubber hose? Didn't have to lay a glove on his pretty face. He's ready to rat on his lovely new bride. Well, amen to that. <laughs> there is a catch, though. Of course there is. Salvation and redemption always comes at a price. What's he asking? Don't blow a fuse, OK? He hasn't exactly asked for anything just yet, and he hasn't promised us anything up to this point. What kind of a deal is he looking for? Complete, total immunity from prosecution. You're handling this well, Hank. Don't bet on it. Hey, I hate this just as much as you do. The guy's lied to my family and friends. He tried to tried to swindle millions of dollars and forge documents to do it. Yeah, documents that saved Dorian from taking a trip to meet our maker. OK, there you have it right there. We hold our noses and we let Vickers walk. And he gives us Dorian. So that's the deal, Hank. Do we take it or leave it? Not even two o'clock? Exactly. <laughs> Are these all the messages? Si, senora. Are you sure? Uh, did somebody named Jean call me? No, senora. Those were the only phone calls. But, uh... But what? Mr. Rickers, there was a problem. What kind of a problem? And where is David? The police were here. The police? Si, senora. They took him away for questions, they said. Not yet. I'm sorry, I don't understand. What did you mean, not yet? Bo is going to obsess about Irene Manning's diary until he has conclusive proof that that final entry is a fraud. Then I'll be back on death row. Dorian, you are overreacting. No, I am not. You promised me that that evidence would vanish before something like this could happen. Mrs. Vickers, what's wrong? I know you're here. Now show yourself. This is a secure facility. If you're here without authorization, you're in deep trouble. Who's there? No, we can't be caught here. Victoria will be blamed. Now listen, let's get real here. You're trapped. I'm going to count to three, and you're going to show yourself. One, two. You leave it alone! You did it, Tommy! She's safe! Vicky's safe! This is all your fault, you know. Mm? You were the one who told me to stop living in the past, let go of my anger before it ate me alive. Guess what? I took it to heart. I decided to get rid of everything that tied me to the past. So when I came across this old picture of Hank, well, it's my way of saying thanks for the good advice. Well, I'm glad to see you're moving on. I know you still don't want me stopping by uninvited. I hear you, Rachel. I know I have a long way to go before I prove that you can trust me, but I'm going to earn that trust. And maybe next time you can invite me in instead of leaving me in the hallway like a stray alley cat. It's not just you. It's... It's what? Nothing. I just haven't felt very open to anyone lately. You just get burned out after those late nights with the law books, and you get so wired. I guess it's hard to understand if you haven't been there. 
What makes you think I haven't been there? I'm not the law school type, but I was there when your mother and father were going through it. I mean, talk about wired. <laughs> you should have seen Hank and Nora. You're kidding me. You think they breeze through? Oh, oh, I just thought... I mean, my dad graduated the top of his class, and Mom was close behind. Oh, well, yeah, they got the sheepskin and the medals and stuff, but they worked their butts off to get there. You think they made law school hard just for you? Oh, I know it's tough, but... I mean, you have to... Oh, they, like, open your head and, and reshuffle your brain and, and make you think in a whole new way. Mm, sounds painful. The painful part is watching Mom and Dad when they see my grade. They say it doesn't matter, but I know it does. They try to hide their disappointment, but I still see it. They love you, Rachel, no matter what. I know that, but I want their respect, too. Ben also loves me, but he thinks I'm in over my head. He wants me to leave law school and go to London with him. Oh, well, forget that. Look, I'm telling you, Rachel, everybody has a tough time at law school. But with your courage and your brains, you can make it, but don't quit. I don't want to. I just have to work harder, and if I have to pull an all-nighter, I'll do it. Well, that's why the good Lord invented coffee. And caffeine pills <laughs> when I need them. I just crack open the books and, and get into the groove. And... and pretty soon, you don't care what the other people think, because you're into your own thing. Yes. Yeah, you're in the zone where, where everything is clear, and you feel like you can go on forever. There are no doubts. And every move you make is right. Yes. You're the first person who understood. <laughs> now, you see, Rachel, I've always felt we've had this connection. So maybe someday you'll let me help you the way you've helped me, and then you'll forgive me for what I did to Hank. Don't ask for too much. I will never forgive you for what you did to my father. Never. <sighs> like I said, you've got courage. Look, you just keep sticking up for your old man, keep sticking up for yourself. Con law school can't stop you. Nobody can. Man, for what it's worth, you don't have to earn my respect. You've got it. Take care. What's wrong? I've known you for a long time, Mrs. Vickers. I, I know when you're worried with good reason. I really can't discuss it, Carlotta. I, I'm a bit upset. <laughs> Your husband is taken away by the police? Of course you're upset. <laughs> well, I certainly can't hide anything from you. You know me too well. Carlotta, when the uh, police were here, did David say anything? To me? To them. About what? Is Mr. Vickers in some kind of trouble? No, not really. It's just... Well, he's young, he's naive, and sometimes when people are questioned by the police, even when they're innocent, as happened to me, you know, things can get twisted around and suddenly it seems like they're not innocent after all. I and mean, when I think about poor David... Is I... there something that I can do? No, Carlotta, but I think what I'd better do is go straight to the police station before David said something. I mean, before he's tricked into saying something that he'll later regret. In sickness and in health. That is what I promised. You're a good woman, Mrs. Lord. I mean, Mrs. Vickers. Thank you, Carlotta. And a loyal wife. I hope Mr. Vickers appreciates what he has. I hope so, too. But if, if the police should come by again, what should I do? Do what I would do, Carlotta. If they ask you any questions, look them straight in the eye and answer them truthfully. Yeah, well, I know how you feel, buddy. The guy's a liar and a user. He deserves to serve time. But we need him to catch a killer. I hate the way he sits over there. He acts like he's got us over a barrel. And don't think about him, all right? Think about Dorian Lord getting away with murder. Without Vicky's statement, 
With Ethel Crawford dead, the only hope we've got is Vickers. All right. Let's say we cut a deal and Vickers testify that uh, Irene Clayton's diary is a fake. He was, he's lied before. Who's to say he's not lying now? Forensics checked out that diary when he first came up with it. It seemed authentic. That's why we're taking it to Quantico. Let the FBI do some state-of-the-art forensics tests. If that diary turns out to be a hoax, then so does Dorian's defense. Okay, so why do we even need Vickers? Juries watch television and go to the movies, remember? All the forensics experts in the world can't take the place of a handsome young man who stands up in court, points his finger, and says, guilty as charged. I think we need Vickers and the evidence to put Dorian away. Sneak up on me like that. Hey, I wasn't... I couldn't help myself. I missed you last night. When you didn't come home, I... I was at the law library. Lots of people study there late. It's no big deal. Well, maybe not. But the reason you left and went over there, that is a big deal. Rachel, I want you to know how sorry I am. I saw the flowers, and they're beautiful. Well, the flowers don't even begin to say how I'm feeling. Now, if I somehow made you think that I doubt you, I don't think you can handle law school. That's the last thing I was thinking last night. The fact is, I, I just hate the thought of leaving you when I go off to London. I can manage on my own, Ben. I know everyone thinks I can't I know handle. that you can manage. And you're going to be a great lawyer. That's if I make it through law school, right? I'm going to miss you. Your face, your smile. Your lips, your brains, your body, you. You don't have to yell. I'm not yelling. I'm just telling you I love you. I love you, too. Okay, so why are we fighting again? We're not fighting. We... What's going on here, Ben? I guess that's what I'm trying to figure out. You haven't changed your mind, have you? Are we still engaged? Hey, Clint, where have you been keeping yourself, hey, guy? Bob, I'll just chain to the desk like uh -huh. any good editor. Um, how about you sit down? Oh, sales. thank you. Thanks very much. How are things on the South Jersey beat? Well, I'm not winning any Pulitzers this year, but uh, we'll leave it at that. Hey, I missed you at that regional conference. Well, things have been kind of hectic around here. Yeah, I, uh, I heard about you and Vicky. Clint, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, just... Blood under the bridge. Yeah, well, tell me about it. You know, when Marge and I split, I, I thought it was the end of the world. But life goes on. I, I mean, look at Vicky, right? I'm sorry? Well, there she was in Atlantic City the other day, uh, having a good time just like any other paying I customer at the old casino. I think maybe you better get your glasses changed. Vicky hasn't been in Atlantic City. Oh? Huh. Well, well, if it wasn't her, it was her, her twin sister. Oh, gotta go. Good seeing you, Clint. Yeah. Bye. You know, something about you has changed lately. Oh, don't be silly. I'm being dead serious. 
I've noticed it for a while now. Little things in in little ways, like the way you the way you dress, the way you're wearing your hair, and now and now you're keeping the truth from me. I thought we were way beyond that. to talk to Jean, all right? Huh? She'll tell me what happened. Tommy, where is she? What have you done with her? I ain't done nothing to nobody, you nosy witch! Jean, Jean, you better come back. Tommy's out of control. I ain't! I ain't out of control! I done a good thing! Jean, if you don't come back, Tommy is going to spoil everything that you have done to protect Vicky. He's going to ruin everything, and you can't let that happen. So, Jean, come back, or else... Vicky's going to be in serious trouble. No! I got her out of trouble! Really? Oh, that's good. That is really good. Yes. Um, but now you've got to let Jean take over because Jean is what Vicky needs and you love Vicky, don't you? Uh-huh. Yes, Tommy. You uh -huh. love her. Uh-huh. Right now. Like for her all the uh -huh. time. Uh -huh. But now, Jean is what Vicky needs. So you've got to stop fighting for Vicky's sake. Welcome back, Jean. I thought you were going to keep Tommy in check. I suppose you could have done better. I'm not the caretaker. You are. That's not my job. Oh, my God. Tommy is very dangerous. You better keep him in control. Tommy was needed. I allowed him to come out. Oh, of course you did. Why? You know what's happened? Well, do you care what's happened? I have the evidence. You do? That's all that matters. Great, give it to me. No. I took the risk. I will dispose of it when I'm ready. What if you change your mind? Or minds? For crying out loud, I have done my part. I will dispose of it. I don't have time to argue with you. I have to go and find David before the police trick him into saying something incriminating. Really? Well, then I would suggest you do go and control your new husband. Just get rid of that diary. have anything else you want to talk about? Thanks, Manny. All right, Vicki, you listen up and you listen good, because I'm only going to say this once. If you accept our conditions, then you'll be free to go wherever you want. As long as it's not within the city limits of land here. You'll leave town, you'll never come back. Now, hold on a minute. You want to stay out of jail. You forget what Dorian offered. Cash, bonds, promises, whatever. This is the one and only way to guarantee your freedom. Of course, you've got the right to refuse. Maybe you're like a cop on your tail for the rest of your life, the first time you screw up. No, but I don't think we have to wait for that. Well, we've got lots of charges to choose from. Obstruction of justice, perjury, falsifying evidence, contempt of court. Back off, boys. The hard cell doesn't work on me. Well, maybe this will. Irene Clayton's diary is being pulled out of the evidence room right now. It's being sent to FBI Forensics and Quantico for analysis. So? So that means your evidence is going to have to go through some of the toughest tests in the whole world. I don't think they're going to pass. You, Hank? 
Do pigs fly? So it's your call, David. You can either cooperate with us or you can stick with Dorian. And buy yourself a world of troubles for the rest of your life. I love you, and I want to marry you. All right, then. You make a brother sweat, but you're worth it. Mm. Now, come on. Let's go celebrate. I can't. I've got to study, remember? <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I was thinking you finished all that last night. Well, I didn't. I didn't know there was a time limit. It isn't. Rachel, I just thought you might need a break. You know, I put in long hours at the hospital, and I find I work better when I pace myself. So I set aside a certain amount of time every day to just relax. Maybe even take a nap. You know, it's, it's important... Ben, that, that you... might work for you, but it's not me. How do you know if you haven't tried it? I've got moot court coming up next week. Haven't you ever crammed for a big test in med school? And maybe even pull an all-nighter when you had to. Sure, when I fell behind, but it's a lousy lifestyle. It... Rachel, I don't even want to fight about this. You're right. What works for me may not be what's best for you. I don't want to fight either. I'm going to study for a couple of hours, and we'll go for a walk. Deal. Great picture of your dad. Where'd you find it? What? I haven't seen this before. Where'd it come from? Oh, it was lying around in some old scrapbooks. <laughs> well, it deserves a place of honor. I'll, uh, I'll hang it up later. second thought that I will hold on to your little diary, Irene. Who knows? It may prove useful. Especially if Dorian should have a change of heart. No more hypotheticals, David. This is take it or leave it time. Last chance, Vickers. Complete immunity. If you tell us everything you know about that diary and how you forged it to clear Dorian of Victor Lord's murder. I think I understand the offer, and I've made my decision. Mr. Gannon, I've considered what you said, and I think it makes a lot of sense. So what do you say, Vickers? <laughs> 